Ipswich Grimsby in the last couple of matches have absolutely hit the ground running. The, over the weekend, they got 13 goals in two games, hammering Mansfield by seven and then Histon away by six. And they are going to be a real test of Wrexham's credentials. Well, good news for Wrexham is that Mark Crichton has signed permanently, and so he is able to line up in the centre of the The other big change is up front. Gareth Taylor is not fit. He had a bad back and a touch of flu, so he's not made the match. And also, interestingly, surprisingly to us, uh, Dean Saunders has left Adrian Cheeslevich out as well. So Matthias Pogba comes in, as does Andy Mangan, back from his suspension. And Morel head keeps it in, nods it to Harris, who does well to beat his man, breaking on the right-hand side. Good ball to Pogba, Reggie Elliott, who beats his man, he's got a chance to shoot here. Left foot and he puts it over, it was an opportunity. Two ex-league clubs here, both in uh, pretty good form and both looking to get back into the league. Strexham won it high up the pitch and Harris has put it into Pogba left hand side to the box he pulls it back and Harris gets there not quite maybe Pogba should have shot it was a tight angle but it was a clear side to goal long kick by Arthur Crichton with another good header against the big man Peacock Pogba brings it down well and beats his man breaking through the middle tries to beat another and he has them as well through the middle hits it oh he scuffs it completely and I'm afraid that's uh, that's the issue of Pogba he's got raw pace he's got raw ability but the composure isn't quite there in the technique as Kryzen drills it over the top, too much on that, Kempson heads it clear, but only as far as Harris, it brings it down, and tries a long range shot, just over, brilliant effort by Harris. The linesman, right on top of it, just waits for the referee to tell him where, which way it went, even though the referee is a long way further away from us, and that body's in the way. Oben hurls it in, Morrell flicks it on, Blackburn nods it into the goal mouth, Pogba heads it up in the air, it's headed clear, Harris edge of the area, hits a volley into the ground, and it goes wide at the right post. I think Arthur had it covered, although he just stumbled for a moment, and you wondered if he has. Ashton, deep in his own half, rolls his halfway line, Pogba is there. It's ironic Pogba's naivety, because everywhere, everywhere else on the pitch there's real hard-nosed, tough professionalism, as Pogba's beaten his man really well in midfield and swept the ball over to the right-hand side for Obengel, really have to sprint to get there, his arms are pumping away, but he has kept it in by the corner flag, and now he's got a man isolated, Ridley, he pulls it into the edge of the air, Harris has space for the shot, right foot it, tipped over! Backwards though, Keats, quick switch to the left to Ashton, three men in a box to away, Matt. Ashton works it back to Keats, Keats winds himself up, drives it in but it's blocked and spins to the edge of the area, Harris jumps and can't win it, Keats volleys it back in, Morell's after that and he volleys it over from the penalty spot, he was at full stretch, he couldn't keep on top of it. And he was onside as well, the linesman's th th thumb was up to the referee, but it just dropped over Andy Morell's shoulder, just too high for him to, to bring down, hit it first time and it was just over the bar, but uh, uh, props the, the best chance of the game for Rex. Maxwell launches it long, Harris beaten to it in the air, but he wins it at the second attempt from Peacock and goes driving forwards and looks on Mangan's space, he's herring after it, he'll beat Kempson to it and just about stops it going behind, he's by the corner flag, now Kempson tackles him but Mangan's got it back and is backing into him right by the corner flag, Ashley's gone in, Ashton's gone inside and Mangan uses the space created to come out and swing it to Harris who brings it down skillfully, beats his man and plays a through ball to Keats edge of the area, chance for a shot onto his right foot, he scuffs this. Straight to Arthur. And a free kick to Wrexham, 35 yards out, left hand side. Keats and Ashton stand over it. Keats rolls it to Ashton down the line. Keats goes on the overlap. Ashton swings it in with height to the far post. Crichton jumps as well to get to that, but can only head it into the goal mouth. And Arthur collects it easily and throws it quickly out to the left hand side. It's kept in by Bohr, who turns and gets past two men. That's a great turn by him. Accelerating through the middle, he's got men in support now. Rolls it into Connell, 30 yards out, tries an ambitious shot, and Maxwell fields that easily. And that's the best scrums we've come up with so far. There's been precious little created in the second half by either side. Yes, as Grimsby take a quick throw in. It's swept in by Ridley to head six yard box, free header, but well, why? That's a miss by Connell, that. Poor contact on him. It's Mangan. Hassles his man and Woods stabs it straight to Ashton and knees the ball forward. Mangan, nice flick to Pogba. Morel's going to be on him. Lovely touch by Pogba. Mangan and Morel running at the last man on his right foot. Can't find the angle. Rolls it to Harris who drives this and scores! That's a great goal by Harris! Really good work by Wrexham and they deserve that. Great work by Pogba to flick it onto Morel and Morel did really well when it wouldn't sit up for the shot. Rolled it across and what a fine finish by Harris. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Andy Morrell, that, that showed all his years of experience. He could well have just put his foot through that and it would have been blocked by a defender. He didn't, he looked up, saw the run of Jay Harris, laid a lovely ball off and, and Jay Harris caught that as sweet as anything. Low and hard, underneath Kenny Arthur and Wrexham take a deserved lead, 1-0.
Maxwell knocks it long. Mangum's climbed all over. Nothing given. Harris wins it back though. And lifts it over the defence. Left hand side. Morrell gets to it. And cuts inside his man. He might shoot here. He drives it. A defender blocks it behind. Good play by Morrell. He's causing problems now, Andy Morrell. He's drifting in some very, very good positions wide on this left hand side. Ball. A real quick free kicks on for Keats. As Harris offers a little dart down the flank. But Keats wants to slow things down. In fact, he's going to roll it now for Robeng, who appears from nowhere. Obeng on the right hand side stands it up and Morel free header 2 0! Dreadful defended by Grimsby, but Wrexham don't care as Andy Morel got a free header and launched it into the top left corner. And the Wrexham players all running to Curtis Obeng. What a cross that was from the young right back. Found Andy Morel in space and the veteran striker, powerful header into the back of the net. But Curtis Obeng getting a lot of congratulations there from his colleagues. It was a wonderful delivery. He's been criticised in the past for some of his deliveries, but spot on with that one. And what a header by Andy Burrell. And Wrexham have got a comfort zone now. Ball drops on the edge of their area. I Ashton smacks it clear. I hate 2 0 more than I hate 1 0, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> 2 nils just a, a gateway to 6 nil. as he's Harris coming forwards, edge of the area, rolls out wide to the right hand side, Mangan now, Ersley ball in, Pogba attacks it, keeper saves at his feet, good keeping by Arthur, 